What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're bringing you a wizard build for season 28 in Diablo 3 is the Typhon's Veil. Now I know the season 28 patch notes are out guys. Make sure to go check out that video and, and all these patch notes are final and that's why we're bringing these build guides uh, for you leading up to season 28 so you can get prepared and kind of get your mindset on what you want to play. So like usual, we're just gonna break straight into this man and we're gonna talk about it. So the buff that they gave the Typhon's Veil is the, on the six seat six the six seat the six uh set part bonus instead of hydras dealing two thousand damage for each hydra head alive we're going to deal four thousand damage so they doubled it which makes this build actually pretty viable now and uh it's actually a really cool build guys testing it in the ptr and just kind of building this up um during season 27 to kind of help you guys out has been actually really fun and i look forward to playing this build um in season 28 let me know down below what uh what builds you're most excited about but let's get into this thing so you're gonna need five pieces of the uh, the Typhon's Veil. Uh, that way, you get to double the duration of the Hydras, uh, and it increases the number of Hydras on each multi-headed Hydra by two. Damage taken from Hydras is uh, by eight percent for each Hydra alive. Each time you take damage, a head dies, and then a head cannot die more than once every two seconds. So this build is very, very tanky. Okay, and then of course the six set piece bonus is four thousand percent increased damage. All right, so main pieces that you're gonna need for this build guys is the uh, tasker and theo okay you're gonna need the increased attack speed for your pets up to 50 percent we got a really good roll on that now i've paired this with the guardian set because the guardian set is just really really strong okay that additional 100 percent of your base strength dex int and vit attributes for all equipped items is insane it makes this build very very strong all right, so we also paired this up with Squirt's Necklace for double damage, and then also COE for even more damage, and then of course Halo of Karini to just tank out even more with our uh, Storm Armor. Okay, so weapons that you're gonna need, guys. You need Winter Flurry. Enemies killed uh, by cold damage have a 25% to release a Frost Nova, and your Hydras deal increased damage uh, to enemies in a blizzard, okay? So this is very important for the build. You're gonna need this. And then we have Fragment of Destiny. Now, here's a, here's a, um, a big change to this. I know this is the Season 27 one. Never mind the Magic Missile Fires. This is just uh, to showcase stats and then using this it makes your signature spells attack 50 percent faster and deal triple damage but more importantly your hydras deal 30 percent increased damage for each stack max 10 stacks so you get 300 percent increased damage for your hydras which is very very important now you could always switch this up you could put the serpent sparker inside here and then put fragment in here uh, or you could maybe not use fragment and use something else to be a little bit faster um, or do something else but i really find that the increased damage here is very important all right so our legendary gems are going to be bane of the trap for more damage then of course we got enforcer to increase our pet damage because technically this is a pet build with the hydras and then Zayas Stone Avengers for more damage at range because even though we're tanky and we're going to be flying around the map, um, you you do want to have some kind of damage at range because you're going to be kind of be spotting these Hydras as you're moving along. You're kind of been looking ahead as far as the gameplay. Um, one other weapon that you could swap out for this, guys, is to do Aether Walker if you want a little bit more speed. But I have found with this build, just the normal wormhole is perfect. So in the cube, you're gonna need Serpent Sparker. You can have one extra Hydra alive at a time, which makes two, and they deal 300% increased damage. And then the Magistrate, very important. Okay, your Hydra's periodically class Frost Nova and deal 300% increased damage. And then Ring Royal Grand Door to pair these uh, around. Now, I do wanna mention that the reason that I have both of these items in the cube um, is mainly because you get the max percent damage. If you do roll them, that's great feel free but the having the damage buff here is more important than let's say having tasker and theo in here then the helmet goes here and then we got to use a typhon veil in the gloves like having even like a 40 percent increased attack speed for your pets is still very good but having like not 300 percent increased damage on your hydras is just a negative so that's why we have both these in here very important and again the the 30 percent increased damage is always going to be there you see that the stat doesn't change so it's always going to be 30 percent. so that's why we have the fragment of destiny on us okay into our skills now i have electrocute surge of power to gain arcane back because this is uh, arcane heavy power build we're going to be casting hydras and be casting blizzard a lot 
So uh, if you don't want to use uh, Electrocute, a lot of people go for Spectral Blade uh, Barrier Blades, which is another great shield to make you even more tanky. This is uh, particularly um, like people use this in the the push builds, but I like Electrocute just so I can hit more enemies and at a longer distance. Uh, next, we have uh, Hydra's Frost Hydra, very important. Okay, we're dealing all this uh, damage is cold. This is a cold based build. We have Teleport Wormhole for movement. We have Storm Armor Scramble because I want increased movement speed. We have Blizzard Apocalypse. Now, even though it's fire, guys, the reason that we do Apocalypse is because it just has a bigger AoE as opposed to the other one. We want to hit as many targets as possible with uh, Frost Hydra because they deal the increased damage. Now, I have Deflection Magic Weapon here. You could swap this out. A lot of people like to go with uh, Black Hole Absolute Zero for increased damage. Uh, I've tested it, but I have found that Magic Weapon is just fine. Plus, for me, it's less buttons that I have to press because the only thing I'm hitting is Teleport, Electrocute, and Hydra, and Apocalypse, and I don't have to do too much after that. Into our passives, we're doing Illusionist for movement speed. We have Arcane Domino for really increased damage. You get these up for hitting Electrocute uh, and getting this to 5, and then 60% increased damage on your Hydra. Uh, Dominus for more damage and uh, Replenishment of your Shields. Uh, no, what is it? Uh, not your shields, but yeah, you get a shield that gives you 2% life. Okay, and then we got elemental exposure for more damage because we are hitting with all different kinds of elements down here. Okay, so that is the build, guys. Oh, one last thing. We'll come in and do the stat priorities on here for you. So in your helm, you want int, vit, crit damage. Uh, shoulders, you want int, armor, cooldown, hydro damage. For the uh, gloves, you want intelligence, attack speed, crit, crit. Uh, for the chest, you want int, vit, hydro damage, although you could swap uh, vitality for um, reduced damage from elites. In the uh, squirts necklace, you want, uh, this is a really bad squirts necklace, but you want cold damage, crit, crit. In the uh, bracers, you want cold damage, int, vit, crit chance. In this one, you want uh, intelligence, crit, crit, or attack speed. And then this one, attack speed, crit, crit. In the pants, you want int, vit, armor, uh, that's it. And then boots, you want int, vent, uh, all resist armor. In this one, you want damage, cold damage, intelligence, vitality, hydro damage. The perfect one is to get rid of vitality and get crit chance. Uh, and then, of course, on your fragment, you want damage, percent damage, intelligence, attack speed. So that is the stat priorities that you're going to need, guys. Now, we're going to go in and we're just going to do a 90 real quick just to showcase this build. And I want—I don't want to make the video too long, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So, wormhole is going to be anything that you need to do to get around. You're going to be able to cast this twice. So this is just to speed up. Now you're really—you're not pulling just elites, but you don't want to spend too much time on the ads. Like you don't want to spend too much time on the minions. So when you first get in here, you're going to pop storm armor and deflection, and then when you pull up to a mob, you're going to hit electrocute to get your domino up and cast. Uh, frost hydra and then blizzard after that but when you initially get in you want to hit a hydra first so you get the big buff to make you tanky from the set build okay so let's go in here and hit this really easy hit a hydra get your domino up and see i'm always looking ahead i'm not really too concerned with anything else and then once your storm or your wormhole comes back up make sure you're using both all the time make sure you're using both jumps all the time i wish the build was faster oh my god we got a dead end this really sucks i wish we could make this build just slightly faster and that's where i talk about uh aether walker which makes this build a lot a lot oh there we go speed pylon perfect which makes this really fun but uh but all you're going to do is run around, get your uh, dominoes up, drop a Hydra, and drop a Blizzard. No problem whatsoever. Get this up. Easy. Oh, don't die. Drop two. Drop two. I really find the build to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of moving pieces, guys, and I don't want you to feel like you're overwhelmed at all. Because the build is really not that hard. You're only electrocuting some enemies, and you just want to pull really large groups okay and you don't want to worry about doing anything else besides just dropping a hydra or a blizzard because you're going to be just moving along see all these small ads you don't want to worry about that you really want to uh, like pull a bunch of mobs to hit each other right you don't want to you don't want to worry about like small amounts of enemies 
you just want to hit the groups, right? Again, just pull. It, it's not too complicated. Like, it did take me a minute to get used to this, right? Because there's a lot of moving pieces, you know? Like, you want to have... You want to have your hydras do the most amount of damage that they can. And then you also want to be able to just like move around and not worry about stuff. Those hydras are going to deal a lot of damage. So again, you just want to you just want to drop your stuff, right? Kill those enemies and then just move. And again, it does it does expend a lot of resources cuz you're just kind of moving along here. But on a really good map, if you hit enough pylons, you can do this in sub two minutes. But on average, I've been hitting like sub three minutes, sub two and a half minutes on 90s. Um, and then as far as the Rift Guardian, you just absolutely decimate. So yeah, so we did it in two and a half minutes, which is still not bad for this build. And also keep in mind, guys, doing this right now is I'm not, I don't even have the, uh, the plus 4,000 bonus which makes the build even stronger boom two minutes and 30 30 seconds 40 seconds not too bad but that's where people can sometimes they want to drop fragment of destiny and they put aether walker in so you can just speed around and drop stuff so that is an option i just prefer the extra damage now maybe the aether walker would be a little bit more viable especially when you get the four thousand percent buff uh and then definitely aether walker always for t16 but that is the Typhon's Veil, guys. That is the build guide for you. I really hope you guys enjoy the build. Um, comment down below. Make sure to like the video. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, let me know what you're playing down in Season 8. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.